Hey everyone, uh, we are here streaming some Star Wars Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knights. This is the second game in the Jedi Knight series. Uh, I believe it came out in 1997, uh, a little bit more advanced than, uh, than the previous game, the original Dark Forces. And uh, what I totally didn't remember was uh, this is an FMV game. Yeah, all the cutscenes are, uh, are full motion video, so let's, uh, I'm already in the game because uh, I'm already in the menu here. Since this is not a DOS game, this is a Windows game. And uh, so let's roll back over to cutscenes here and watch the intro, and then we can uh, get into things. So, Jedi's Destiny. Ah, the LucasArts logo. A company that is no more, very sadly. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. We have kind of the traditional... The traditional Star Wars intro with the text crawl. Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight. So, what do we got here? Since the destruction of the second Death Star, the Rebel Alliance has begun the difficult process of building the New Republic. So this is post-Return of the Jedi. Seizing the opportunity for control of the galaxy, new rival armies arise. The most dangerous of these are the Dark Jedi. Their leader, Jarek, seeks the legendary Valley of the Jedi. Within this lost battleground, he will find untold power to destroy peace and justice in the galaxy. And a weird four-dot ellipsis, which I assume is better than a three-dot ellipsis. So let's see here if this is going to be the standard... Uh Star Wars intro and see if we pan down to a planet or if it just kind of rolls into credits or something. I think there's some story here. While we're scrolling down. And there's definitely a planet. Yep, okay. So this is, and... Oh, so I guess I don't know if that's kind of a play on uh, on Episode 4. But uh, this what looks like... doesn't look exactly like an Imperial... Well, it's definitely bigger than an Imperial-class Star Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> blew up a uh, the Corellian Corvette, as opposed to uh, capturing it. A little more uh, sinister. I hesitate. Strike me down. In time, Ron. First, I need something from you. <laughs> Morgan Katarn! This dead man holds the valley's location. Very intriguing. <laughs> I have no further use for you, old man. Ooh. So yeah, this is kind of some standard FM, standard quality FMV with both production value and uh, I will say the acting is not, not that the acting in a lot of Star Wars is great, especially the newer movies, but um, yeah, see that didn't look great. Fight choreography, a little cheesy. I'll give it that. <laughs> Definitely a darker version of Star Wars than, uh, than we might be used to. A lot more killing. Okay, so single player, new game. Narshada, the vertical city. So Narshada is a moon of the planet Nalhata, which is uh, the home planet of the Huts. It's actually not the original home planet of the Huts. It's the second home planet of the Huts. Their original home planet was called Varl, and they actually ended up surreptitiously buying up 
uh, Nalhuda from its original inhabitants. And uh, basically, I can't remember if they banished them from the planet or placed them on reservations, but uh, very sneaky, very hut appropriate. Uh, Narshada is, uh, is the smuggler's moon, as you can see. So there's a lot of uh, unsavory characters that hang out here to support the, uh, the hut's criminal enterprise. So that was a little bit of lore. <laughs> remember the sun when you're at the academy how very proud i am of you what a fine young man you've become i'll assume this is a fmv version of kyle Katarn. i wish your mother were here to see it but i know she watches over you and is proud after she died your welfare and upbringing was the only thing i truly cared about touching when someone desires information, they come to me. Don't waste my time, idiot. Tell me who killed my father. Patience. He is a dark Jedi. Jedi? Dark Jedi. He is known as Jeric, and he has great plans for the rebirth of the Empire. I'm not interested in petty political struggles. Well, you should be. Without going into too much detail, Jeric has been quite generous in his offerings. Unfortunately, you don't factor into them. Hmm. But I am not without a heart. Familiar, yes. I found it in your dead father's home. I can decipher any language or code known, but this one eludes me. What? He's familiar with eight million it forms of communication? Important. Tell me what it is, and these gentlemen won't have to indulge their darker side. Dark side, I've been there. Do your worst. Well, I suppose that concludes our business. I'm not interested in leaving. I have some business to conclude with your friend, 88. Hmm. All right, double cross on Narshada. Okay, well, hopefully this came... I flipped a full screen here, so hopefully this came through the stream okay, but we will uh, assume that it did. And we'll go from there. So this is... Decidedly more 3D. Ooh. Can I jump? Jeez. There we go, jump is that. Okay, well, I guess that's not ammo. Silly me to think that it was. Hey! Ha! Shields. There we go. This is a quick engine, that's for sure. <laughs> Yes. Let's see here. Objectives: find AT88 before he escapes with your father's data disk. Okay. Uh, Return to game. Oh, Jedi Knight main executable has stopped working. <laughs> that is not ideal. <laughs> okay. Wow. Interesting. Let's uh, see if we can try that again. So this is one thing that does tend to happen when... Uh... Okay, so let's go back. Back here, okay. Didn't even get a chance to save the game. Okay, new game. Skip that, and we're in, okay. So let's try that again. Uh. Now 
Let's get out of my car. You always cost observation. Those two guys were not there. Aha! Stormtrooper rifle. It's good that I came through here a second. Try. So those two guys weren't there the first time. I wonder if that was because of the crash or if they if there's a random element here. Okay. Seven, quick save. Five, four, nine, ten, no. One. Oh, okay, so that's third person view. Red light. Something, something. Oh, so this is what I did to make a crash last time. I thought I saw a quick save. F9 is quick save. And crash! Alright, so I cannot switch. From one thing to the other. Okay, we'll do this one more try, and I will try and not switch between. The two contraptions. Okay. Let's just put set up. Nope, not gameplay. Display. There's a back of her. See if that does no. That's not what I want because I don't want to see the UI. Uh, so I can't go to nineteen twenty. Okay, last try. Last try. If that doesn't work, unfortunately, I guess I won't be trying this game out too much. And yeah, we'll be good here now. Get out of my car. You always cause trouble. Yeah, yeah, I'll get out of my way and I won't cause any trouble. Okay, let's try and get through the whole first level here without flipping. I gotta find AT88. Much better. Oh, who's shooting me? So yeah, unlike the first game, I actually like there's a mouse look, full mouse look in this one. I don't think there was in the first one, if I remember back to uh, last week when I played that. Ooh. What? 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 Ooh, a Rodian. It was quick size was F9. Well, it didn't say anything. But... Anyone else? Anyone else? No. Alright, spacebar is. Okay, let's see what's happening. Civvy. Can't remember if you lose points for killing civilians or not. Oh, yeah, now this, hopefully, I don't die, is. Pretty cool aspect of. Ooh, there's a secret. A pretty cool aspect of this game is this negative space. There's these huge chasms in this game, which wasn't possible in. I guess. Previous to this would have been Doom 2, maybe? Yes, Doom 2. And it didn't have the capability to do stuff like that. It really did. Give. Uh, give these games. A pretty impressive scale. Alright, we got him later. But yeah, like, look at this. Like, that is. That's almost scary. Like, it's a huge, and, and which makes sense in the Star Wars universe. Like this, Narshada is basically or Narshada, or I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. I always said Narshada is basically uh, a copy of of Coruscant, the uh, the capital planet, and it's kind of this huge vertical city that goes into the sky, and you know between the buildings. Oops. Between the buildings are these incredibly huge 
vertical chasms. So that is really quite cool. It really puts you in the Star Wars lore, in the Star Wars universe, and uh, and it makes for some pretty interesting gameplay as well. Because you're not just going to fall into acid or something, you'll fall into this huge bottom of the <laughs> Not sure how this is gonna work when I actually decide to change levels. I mean, they may crash out and I may come back in. Okay. for blowing up droids? No. Oh, well, that was just mean then. Sorry. Little power droid. Now, one thing I'll say with this game compared to the first one, at least in this level, and that might not be the case in later levels, but, um... It's definitely a lot less maze-like. Whoa! I had tons of trouble finding my way around in uh, in the first game to the point where it was actually a bit frustrating. I go back up there and get those shields. Oh, there's an actual elevator that I totally missed. I just slid down this thing. No, oh, that's probably way too high for me. Oh, okay, I see. Or I could do this. There's a civvy. I won't kill you, hey. even though I don't think it really matters. Okay, so I see I gotta run. Okay, so. I call you, you come down, I run. Actually, come back up. I think this is where I came in from. Yeah, okay. This is where I came in from. So remember what I said about the, it not being mazy? Well, yeah, that was wrong. It's mazy. Not that badly, though. This was a, was pretty innocuous. Okay, I gotta go all the way up. So we started in the middle. slide. Okay, now I promise I'll go all the way up. I know. Hey! Around there real quick to do the same 
thing that I did before. Yep. But that's not what I was. Cool, because they, they're moving around, they're dodging. There's actually quite a bit of, uh, of AI in here. Hmm. Yeah, not worth it. Assuming that that's raising an elevator somewhere, I just need to figure out where, or bridge, or something. Not there. I really want. Thank you. Aha! Bing. It's a pretty steep elevator. Elevator. Okay. Oh, you can't. You slow down when you're going up a steep incline. Okay, so back to you. Button. My suspicion is it controls. Ah, okay. So this so I'll wait for this to. Or can I? Okay, I just gotta wait for it to go down. Any time now. Time now. So let's see. If I push the button now, what happens? Okay. For the moment, 
There we go, game quick saved. It finally set it. It's impressive. Is that a door? It is not. need to go. Tie bomber. Crazy town. Okay, let's get across. I'll deal with them later. Oh, okay, that's just sadistic. I was trying to push him off the thing. Okay, back downstairs. melee guys because they can't really hurt me very much. What? What? Ah, ah. As I said, melee guys can't hurt me very much. Guys with guns, most assuredly can. City guys, need ammo, badly. Kyle What's Kata happening? Yeah, yeah. Kyle Katarn What's needs happening? ammo, badly. So what's happening? What is happening? Hey! Hey! Okay, that's opening, so that's good. Let's go down. And down. Okay, I 
And it's one of those race things. Can I go through the window? No. Okay. I know nothing. No, you know nothing. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Leave me alone. Stop walking into me and I'll leave you alone. Leave me alone. Okay, so put that and then go. I think these are the Gran. That's the race of these uh, these dudes here that keep running into me. Oh, that's not good. One one shot left. A little trigger happy, I guess. Oops! I died. That was my last quick save. Okay, so I guess the quick saves do work. It just doesn't always tell you if you're actually quick saving. Alright, so not easy to th melee in this game. So, you know, let's, uh, let's switch to that guy. Go in the corners. That's F F9 again. They be dead. Okay. Oh, that's why, because I'm almost dead. <laughs> Look at me getting one shotted. This isn't ideal. <laughs> Woo, yeah. So let's 
Come back around here. I thought maybe. Is there a. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try this a couple more times and then I'll probably just call it. But, anyways. Since I don't want you guys to, uh. So it looks like there was something up here if I. Oh. Crouch. Crouch. Come on. Oops, sorry. Me and my six health. <laughs> okay, so it's that guy that drops. I think he drops a health. Okay. Two health, that's even better than that health. You did no oh, come on, you did it last time. Nothing here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so they're dead, they didn't drop anything. You didn't drop anything. You didn't drop anything. Where? Drop a health? Nope. Oh, come on, you dropped a health last time. That's not fair. I saved just before. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Are you done? Okay, past that. Uh huh. Leaving so soon? Idiot got away in his Lambda class Imperial shuttle or just shuttle. <laughs> oh, TIE Bomber, it's back. That's not good. <sighs> Yay! Well, whenever I need to find you, you're always in some kind of trouble. Jan, what a pleasant surprise! What would you do without me, Kyle? I'd be a content old man. <laughs> Somehow I don't see content or an old man. So much for the relaxing chat. Jan, meet me at the top. I've got to get that disc. Okay, I am uninitiated. I found one of six secrets and I earned zero stars because I'm not good at this. <laughs> Okay, the lost disc. So let's see, no crashing. Okay, so I gotta find AT-88's arm. <laughs> Interestingly enough. At least I'm back to full health. Where, where are you shooting at me from? Anyways. So, gotta find AT-88's arm. I think this might be a better way to go to do such a thing. Is he 
fell down, as far as I remember. Ooh. So let's see something here. What's over here? Yeah, I think that is what I want. Yes. Okay. Done and done. Oh, thermal detonator. So now I gotta go meet up with Jim. Oh, okay, no, that's this makes sense. Thermal detonator. Don't need that right now. So I think I mentioned I'm playing on medium difficulty. And this medium difficulty in this game is definitely a touch easier. difficulty was in the first game, except, ooh, at the end there, of that first level, when uh, I was low on health, but hey, we got through, that's the important thing. Cells. Look out. Okay. <laughs> now you helped. Leave me alone. Get out of my way and I'll leave you alone. I do also like how there's non-combatants in this game. It's interesting. you lose any points for killing the non-combatant people, but, you know, it's not very nice. Here. Ah, good morning. Good morning, guard. New and improved. Yeah, I'm thinking we definitely don't want to let those guys get too close. Save. Oh. Oh. The other thing I don't like is these guys don't give you ammo. Yeah, that's funny. Five shots, I believe. To kill them. Okay. Okay, so 
now. I wonder. So now, let's see. Shift make me run. Yeah, shift makes me run faster. Let's see if this works. Somehow I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. Let's quick save. Jump is here. Ah! No, <laughs> that wasn't. I don't think that was right. At least this maybe one more shot, one more try. Ah! No, that's not what I'm supposed to do. So I won't do that. Let's go over here. To go. <laughs> yeah, sleeping chasm. I'm not a Jedi yet. Run, run, run! save much sooner than I'm auto-saved here. Auto-save. Quick save, if you will.
<laughs> that was a close one. Makes me laugh. It makes me lol. Oh, come on, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I don't like this weapon auto switching. Okay. I switched! I switched from the stupid dead okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Do that. He's gonna come running. And I'm going to shoot him. And we're gonna save the game. Save the game. Okay. I still have no ammo. So I apologize if anyone's chatting to me right now. I can't actually see the chat room. Because I didn't realize that this game leaps to full screen when you actually start playing, but the UI is not full screen, so wasn't quite not totally prepared for that. So again, apologies if there's a lively conversation going on. It's pretty early in the morning here, so. So Alima just retweeted my stream tweet, uh, but uh, okay. So do some. Okay, got to get better at saving. left. Okay. Boom. So I got seven shots. Oh, I need some thermal. I got those guys too, so. What? Where'd they come from? Where in God's name did they come from? They were not there the last like 17 times. I, oh, that's because I went this way instead of that way. Okay, so two shots for them. That's good, I'm learning. I have five shots left. Let's save. There. Two shots there, and he's got it. Thank you. It's a civvy. Thank you. Okay, things are looking up. Okay, 
conveyor belt. My assumption is we're gonna have to ride this and see what does this do. Or do I have to go down? Oh, not, not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, well it's 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 running, so. So yeah, these guys respawned around in a different area. Get back? No. Okay. But I don't yet have a door. Though I can pretty safely assume that's going to be around here somewhere. Okay. Okay, energy cells. That's weird, the text doesn't... Okay, the text doesn't always show up. I think this is not the most reasonable... Thermal 
Oh, where are you? I'm going up. That's good. It's a place to meet Jan. That's where I want to be. Good. A whole whack of stuff. Big massive block of stuff to come down. Time acceleration? Nope, doesn't exist. Okay. Oh, excuse me. These early morning streams are. Uh, Okay. Push the wrong button. I feel like in the last game, spacebar was to jump, and right click was to do something else. I think F was to use. Yeah, that's what happened. F was to use, and uh, spacebar was to jump. And in this one, right click is to jump, and spacebar is to use, so it's a little bit confusing, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. This is my jump button. Ooh, come back up there. Jump. Jump. Save, because that took a while. I like the verticality of all this. Like, you know, there's a lot of going up and going down, and I think that's something that this engine was able to do that uh, the Doom engine wasn't. They could stack zones or map, whatever they're called. They could stack map pieces on top of each other. So being that this is newer, it's obviously a slightly more advanced uh, 3D engine. I think this is, yeah, and this is also actually 3D. With range, these uh, the laser bolts lose potency or cohesion or whatever you want to call them. Let's see, maybe there's some. this thing. Oh, wonderful. 
wonderful. Okay, so that's not gonna help, so I guess I gotta go over here. Seems like pretty far to fall though. Oh well, let's do it. Aha, it's just far enough to fall. So this is not going to get me anywhere, but if I go and find the bouton. Okay, so... Oh, okay, that one's moving. These levels are actually really quite complex. They're long, they're complicated, they're maze-like. But I find, especially with this game versus the first one, they're maze-like, but they're, there's a path to them. You're not just running around in circles trying to find a door. definitely a very logical progression as to where to go next, but it's not... Yeah, it's cool. Are you coming down? Okay. Okay, there's floors. to the top, so... 
Does that mean mission complete? All right, the crow. Initiated, found zero, zero stars, because I'm no good. I think the stars are actually have more to do with the uh, Jedi powers, but maybe I'm wrong. I'll, uh, I'll obviously figure that out for the podcast. Time to get you patched up. Your path is at a moment of change. Jarek, the man who murdered your father, is a great evil. He searches for the location of a sacred place, the Valley of the Jedi. A force of thousands of Jedi is trapped here. If Jarek captures this power, he will be a creature such as the universe has never seen. A supernova of stars in a fleeting form. The eradication of life from a star system, in a whisper, will be within his power. Your father gave his life to protect this power, and now it is a place your destiny must take you. The disk you have in your possession will lead you to the ways of the Jedi. Remember, it will be your path. To the ways of the force. Aha! Uh -huh. I will be a Jedi. Well, your blessed ship is going to be in the repair bay for the next few days. Uh, how's it look? Nothing that a crate full of money which you don't have wouldn't solve. Like always, I owe you. Can you take care of her for me? You're not going after Jarek, are you? No. I'm going back to my father's home in Sulon. Can you meet me there when you're finished with the crow? Of course. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'll find out when I get there. Interesting. That was the last of them. Now what do we do? 8088 will decipher them at Baron's head. Fuck! Turn home to Sulan. Okay, well, um, you know that was that. That's a good hour or so, and um, I think we have a little bit of a uh, flavor of the game here now. So uh, I guess we'll stop it there, at least for the moment. And uh, I'm actually gonna have to get down to, to doing some research and writing this podcast. So uh, thanks for joining in, and uh, we'll see you in the actual uh, podcast where I'm going to talk about the last game I played, this one, and I believe the two. Um, Jedi Academy and Jedi Outcast. So, thank you very much, and bye-bye. <laughs>